Hey, this is Peony from the Yamogi House. I have always struggled to make the perfect fire and get it going. I spend so much time sitting in front of this stove just trying to get it going. My husband from Mongolia, of course, was the perfect fire maker um, because he grew up in a yurt and that's what they made was fire. Um, he has tried to teach me on many occasions how to do this, but we only ended up quarreling. So here I am trying to figure it out, and I have the perfect recipe. You know, I'm a cookbook writer, and I love recipes. So here's my recipe. First of all, I got some uh, mugwort stems that I dried. And then I'm going to add that first. Well, well, first of all, I got some paper in there. And... Um, someone showed me how to do it this way. Actually, I didn't figure it out. Okay, and so then I got, so then the branches get a little bit bigger here. And then the next ingredient that goes into the great big pot here is some other, um, oh, this is cool. I, I think I can use this in um, some craft. Keep that. Anyway, some other um, bigger pieces of wood that go on top. And then some bark, and then once that gets really going and hot, I'm going to add that. So wish me luck and see if all this will work. I got my poker stick. You got to have a poker stick. I know. I have a metal one. I got a bunch of stuff over there. All right. So first things first. <coughs> oh, first things first is to add the mugwort. Maybe I should, well, I can't do that with one hand. Okay, hold on. <coughs> oh, it's dusty. All right, I tried to scatter that around. Okay. And then I will attempt to light it. Um, I think newspaper would have been better, but I don't have any newspaper. And I feel really guilty about stealing the Eugene Weekly just to do this because I don't read the Eugene Weekly. So, okay, that's going now to this. I will add some of the usnia that I picked up from the ground this last summer. And then... These guys go across. Oh no, it's dying. Don't die. <coughs> Dusty. Okay, looks successful so far. And then this bark goes on top. <coughs> Excuse me. Look, pretty good. And then I add... Oh, my gosh, I can't stand the smoke of that on top. So, it looks like it's going pretty good. I'm going to close this door a teeny bit. And we're supposed to open that up. And hopefully it doesn't die. Maybe if I open it a little bit. Because if I close it all the way, um, the fire is going to die, die. So I'll just keep it open a teeny bit. And once this is going really good, I have to open the door slowly. Because all the smoke will come out. I get a smudge stick of mugwort and I put that in on top and the smoke will go all the way up and out to the village wonderful thanks for watching any tips let me know I'd be happy to master this oh I think it's dying Okay, open it a little bit more. Or you can always turn that on and consume electricity. <laughs>